this program that we've been doing in English 102, I've learned that you have so much in common with people that you don't even know, and all it takes is a little opening up, and you learn about you learn a lot about strong individuals. Uh, this project has been a um, service learning project where uh, we teamed up with a uh, program with kids and we both decided that our class in the program would read the uh, same book called Hey Kiddo. And like we've been reading the book Hey Kiddo and every week or so we just discuss with the kids the things that they noticed about the books, anything that they like about it, anything they have questions on or any clarification about and we just try to stay on the same page about things like that. And then that's when we get into learning more about them. And every week we'd make uh, these journal entries to the kids and everybody in our class was paired in groups so me and my partner we would send journal entries to um, our, our kid in the program named Noah and um, we'd get his response and we got told to like you know ask him questions and see if he needed help if he was stuck and if not you know check for like what his input was on things in the story. Um, so I wanted to do a service learning project because I was having these moments in my classroom where I felt like I wanted to give the students some real world experience on what we were learning, things like word choice and rhetoric and also to help them have a better understanding of how literature can help us understand the world around us. And I was really lucky because I already had a connection to um, the HARP program and the ROCK programs, after school programs for kids that have um, mental illnesses. And so I thought that would be a good opportunity to um, serve the Harp and Rock program by helping them um, foster literacy skills and college readiness skills in the kids in the program and also it would be a good experience for my students to get some um, hands-on learning with the kids in the program by practicing their communication skills and, and writing, for good, writing for audiences and all of that kind of stuff. This project has just been unbelievable, um, completely exceeded my expectations. We definitely didn't know what to expect and how the youth would respond to this project, um, but they took to it instantly. Um, they thought it was so cool to be talking to other youth, college students, um, who I think they felt like they could really connect to um, and that we're willing to talk to them in a way that wasn't looking down on them or treating them as you know kids who receive services through the Department of Mental Health. So it was kind of not only talking about the book but it was connecting with, um, with our partners. I think it's a lot more rewarding than a, any other basic class because you're actually doing something hands-on rather than just reading about something or writing about something, it's like an actual rewarding project. More hands-on than what I possibly thought I could be for this course, so I think the service learning project actually did a really good job for both the kids in the program and for the students in the classroom, including myself. Yeah, and I think um, you know the bonus for the students was that I think for a lot of them it really helped them to contextualize um, where they came from and what they went through to be where they are and to be able to recognize that they really have come a really far way since they were um, in high school and the things that they've been through and you know that they had potential and so do these kids they were able to share that experience with them so it was really special. Yeah, kind of like a mentor, someone just to look up to. Um, I've accomplished you know some things that some didn't accomplish in my family and they may be going through the same things, whether they're a first-generation college student and things like that. Went into this looking for a way to help um, with the literacy skills and the college readiness skills of the kids in the program, and I think we came out with helping them also with their communication skills um, and, and their reading skills and all sorts of things that we weren't expecting. Um, it also gave them a really safe place to talk about things that were happening in their lives, so they were able to journal through Google Docs and 
Um, there were some things that they said in those journals that were things that they wouldn't even say in a, in a therapy setting. So um, there were really special moments and I think that we just got really lucky that it worked out on both ends. Really beautiful. There were so many moments where I had tears in my eyes and I was like, I've never seen um, these kids respond in this way and how can we do more of this and help them connect to the community in this way because it gave them such a sense of belonging and that's exactly what these kids need. All of them now, um, they've been asking um, their kind of mentors um, what college is like and more and more they keep coming up to me and saying, you know, I can go to college, right? We have, we have one senior right now and she, you know, submitted her application to HCC, plans to come in the fall. Um, and I think just talking to these kids about that made her feel even more comfortable. Um, this was, you know, these are some kids who don't even leave their home sometimes because they're so anxious and now they're thinking college. It's just a great experience and I'm, I'm loving it right now. I watch change uh, before my eyes and just as a clinician in this field, truly it's, it's shaped how I now am starting to approach therapy um, and it's, it's been unbelievable so I would love to keep doing this.